Hello and welcome my friends. We are right here at the Swiss stage draw show. Let's see, uh, just PSG qualifying after absolutely destroying one of these. Here we have the pools. Pool 1 team are the champions. Pool 4 team are the playing teams. Pool 2 are the second place teams or the, the most points teams depending on how your region does it. And pool 3 teams are the other ones. Um, yeah. It's going to be a pool 1 versus pool 4 and pool 2 versus pool 3 as far as I know. And uh, I think for, for the first, uh, what is it, the first thingamajingy, it's teams of the same uh, region can play against each other. I think that's the rules. Um, and uh, yeah, they're going to explain everything in slow detail for all the, I don't know, range top laners out there who are obviously lacking some brain salts and uh, can't follow what is being said. Now, we'll let's see how it's one. going to be drawn. Okay, so draw the first team. I don't know who this is, but I think just randoms. Couldn't we have imported this, like the average looking person of Berlin, by the way? Uh, yeah, yeah. No disrespect. I don't know this person, of course, but uh, yeah. Couldn't we have gotten the uh, LCK ref from last year? Well, maybe not because his draws were crazy. Okay, we're just drawing all the pool one teams. Okay, that's just going to be a cock tease right now because we have to wait till like pool two for like anything interesting, right? It's just drawing and drawing and drawing. This is so boring. Like it just doesn't matter, no? Like this doesn't matter. Nothing is being determined. It's just the order of like things. It's just okay. Let's hit the nap. Okay, that was fucking boring. Uh, now actually something interesting happens, right? Just pulling the first two teams. Why don't you just pull pull one, pull two, uh, pull four, pull one, pull four? It's going to be more interesting. Anyway, uh, I should have paid attention. Okay, so who's going to be it? I should have paid attention. PSG? Against whom? Against whom? Ah, oh, for fuck's sake! I should have paid attention. I shouldn't have had a hit and nap. Ah, oh, come on. Gam. Who's playing them? Ah, oh, goddamn it, man. Okay, G2's opponent is going to be PNG, if I understand what the cast has said correctly. I... God damn it, I should have paid attention. Ah, oh, god damn it, man. Who would have expected that they don't pull up any graphics or whatever. Okay, Mad Lions versus... Who was the last one? Is it FlyQuest? I think it's Mad Lions versus FlyQuest. Okay, let's talk about it. Hangwa Life versus PSG. Hangwa Life, obviously, easy win. FlyQuest versus Gam. Gam, easy win. God damn it, go, go. For fuck's sake. Okay, I, I had to rewind, man. This is like for fast people. PNG versus G2, G2 win. And then BLG versus Mad. BLG, easy win. So, uh, yeah, uh, cool. Thank, thank you that we can talk about these matchups. Thank you that these graphics go fast, 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 man. What the hell is this? So next. Let's now pay attention, let's not hit the snooze, even though we don't know the matchups first, because we need to memorize the order, because they're not going to show us the order. Oh my god, then. Ay, ay, ay. Like, they make an event out of all of this, but it's just... Okay, so TS, let's maybe write it down, write it down, do I have a fucking pen? Okay, TS first. TS, let's write it down, because we have to memorize it, and my memory is filled with, I don't know, League of Legends team composition. TL, next one. Okay, obviously we always kind of look for TL versus T1, that's kind of the matchup that we get every year because Impact and Faker, well, they have to get their annual meetup, right? And then NX is Fnatic, okay, FNC. Hmm? Hey, is that Gwen cosplay? Okay, nice, nice. And then last team, last team, let's see, let's see. Da, 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 da. And who is going to be? Oh, it's actually Genji. Who would have expected Genji to be in here? Well, there's one tier 2 team or one, one pool 2 team that is uh, a bit different, right? Okay, LNG, DK, Weibo and T1. Obviously, uh, just so you know, TS can obviously not face uh, LNG or Weibo because well, there is the no civil war rule at least for the first part of Swiss stage. So now let's hope that... Uh, let's hope for a banger. So TS opponent in... The first one is LNG, so LNG obviously can't face TLN. That means we get Team Liquid versus LNG. That's pretty interesting. Um, yeah, okay, the casters also are not taking those, they should pay attention. But uh, yeah, TL 
versus LNG, obviously LNG now with Scout, it's going to be interesting, so TS opponent is going to be T1, we just beat them, T1, 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 oh, T1, so T1 TS, that's going to be interesting, and that means we're going to see Fnatic versus DK and Genji versus Weibo, that's already determined, cool, so Genji, Weibo, absolute going to be a, a clap, and yeah, the draws are already determined at this point, um, so T, uh, let, let's talk about the matchups in a moment. Go, let's let's let them draw their things. By the way, I I don't have a paper. I just wrote it on a what is it? I don't know handkerchief. Anyway, let's pause here. So Hangwa Life versus PSG. PSG is good, but are they good enough to beat Hangwa Life? I don't think so. I don't think so. It's a best of one, so anything can happen, but I don't think this can happen. Flycast versus Gam. I think Gamma's going to eat them alive. Like, I don't know, man. Whippo can be as toxic as he wants. I don't think that's going to help him. I think Gamma's just going to eat them. Uh, yeah. It is what it is. G2 versus PNG. Uh, sure, it's the meme, ha ha ha, Brazil beats EU or something. But uh, no, G2, as, as much as I'm like not confident in EU whatsoever, uh, I think they're still going to beat PNG. Um, yeah, that's just going to be it. BLG versus Matt. I mean, Matt... It's on the similar level as PNG. How the hell did they make it out of play-ins? And well, BLG is the LPL champion. They dropped just a handful of games. And well, there's not much more that we can talk about. TST1, that's going to be an absolute banger. T1 obviously is going to win. They beat them last time they faced in the um, grand, was it? Yeah, well, it was TS, right? In the grand finals of the EWCC or something, the, the, the Esports World Championship, right? Uh, they beat them there. And sure, T1 since then has looked a bit shaky, uh, but that's kind of about it, right? They obviously are going to like pick up some slack, and it's T1 at Worlds, right? And by the way, it's T1 versus LPL. Not in the best of five. They've lost some best of ones here and there, uh, I, I I think. I think? Probably. Yeah, they lost to against EDG sometimes. Or, or like, yeah, so it's a best of one, so that's that. But uh, I think T1 still is reasonably strong, right? They have the plot armor. Uh, even without the bias, I think, uh, yeah, it's not too unreasonable to uh, have hopes for T1 here. Uh, TL versus LNG. LNG uh, looked really good throughout all the summer, and then playoffs came around, and they lost some really weird series, I think, against Weibo, and yeah, things just began to crash down. Um, yeah, it, it's 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 just a bit rough. Um, the roster changed a bit from last year, right? Tarzan now is at Weibo, not with LNG anymore, but they still have Scout, who obviously now is actually allowed to leave the country and, yeah, be able to perform at Worlds. Is it still going to be enough with all the shakeups to beat TL, who is decently good looking, right? They lost against FlyQuest, but again, they were the best team in NA and so on and so on, and uh, they're less NA, they're more like a Korean, like, uh, I don't know, foreign exchange team or something, right? But I still don't think, I don't think it. If it's going to be an upset, it's going to be here. Um, but that's kind of about it. Fnatic versus DK. DK, again, they have their struggles, but I mean, it's Fnatic, man. They, they're not going to be able to do it. I have no hope, again, in EU whatsoever. And uh, yeah, even though DK is not looking too hot, it's, it's still DK, right? It's still Showmaker in a Syndra meta. That's all you need to know. And then, yeah, well, Gen G plays. I mean, they are, they're like... Not really any team where you would say, oh yeah, Genji is going to lose this, right? There's no team besides T1, of course, where, yeah, well, with all the cope, right? Genji is by far the best team in the world. Sure, they lost against Hangwa Life in the finals, but uh, you would be a fool to predict Genji to lose against anyone, uh, like at any point right now. That might change with how the, t uh, the tournament goes on, right? But the meta is not really that bad for them either, right? Sure, Chovy is maybe not the best Syndra player, but his Oriana is great. His Yon is absolutely phenomenal, and that's just going to be the end of Weibo, uh, who are, again, it's it's Weibo, right? It's just, it's it's not BLG, it's Weibo. So yeah, I think the first round is going to be interesting, but it's probably going to be a couple of one-sided stomps. That's kind of how, like, the first round of play-ins, uh, of Swiss stage, at least, is always, like, kind of set up, right? With pool one teams against t uh, pool four teams. I think the, the most competitive matches are going to be um, the FlyQuest versus Gam one, the TES T1 one, and then the Genji versus Weibo on paper, but I, I still think Genji is just going to stomp it. Anyway, let me know your predictions for the Swiss stage 
in the comments down below. We're going to have obviously more words content coming up in a matter of days. So make sure to subscribe to not miss out on all of that. Anyway, see you soon, my friends. Bye bye.